finding the area of a triangle. So if you're trying to find the area of a right triangle, it's really easy because your base and your height are two sides of your right triangle. If you're trying to find the area of a non-right triangle, it's easy as long as they give you the height. But what happens when they give you a non-right triangle like this and they don't give you the height? Well, there's this formula that you've never been taught before because you didn't know enough about trig. The formula is this, K equals one half BC times the sine of A. And again, don't get hung up on those number or those letters. Just remember, it's the two sides not across from your angle times the sine of the angle. Why are they using K here? Because they don't want to confuse area A with the A over here. I want to talk about what's happening, but then we'll do it using the formula. Let's pretend we didn't know this formula. So in order to find, remember that the area of a triangle is one half base times height. Our base could be five, so that's not an issue, but our height has to be perpendicular to our base, so we would have to draw that in and find this side. Well, look what happened. I created a right triangle. Here's my angle. Here's my hypotenuse. So to find this side, that would be my opposite. So if I was going to do trig, I could do the sine of 31 equals opposite over hypotenuse. Then multiply my 10 over to there. So 10 sine 31 would give me my opposite, which is the height of my triangle. So you take that 10 sine 31 and you put it in there for the height. And there you could find the area of a triangle. Well, let's look at what happened over here. 1 half little b is 5 my base of my triangle here. Little c is 10 times the sine of my angle A, 31. So here's the moral of the story. If you forget to memorize that formula or if you get stuck and you can't remember it, then you could always go back to, all right, I need to find the height of my triangle, use my trig to find the height, and you would end up there anyway. But if you know the formula, it makes your life much easier. So once we know the formula, we just type it in our calculator. Again, make sure that your calculator is in degrees. If it's not in degrees, you're gonna get all screwed up. Anytime you're working with trig on your calculator, you wanna make sure whether you're in degrees or radians. So K equals 12.88. So our area is approximately 12.88. So again, will you have to do all of this on a regular basis? No. But the point is, if you forget this formula, you could figure it out without this formula because it's just one more formula to memorize. But if you know the formula, life is really easy. You plug in your numbers, bada bing, bada boom. All right, quick track on page 801.